welcome back, my adoring public, to more of the Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Feral Fiasco here, and exciting news. Uh, as you are not able to see, but gonna kinda have to glean. See, look, we got it open. We got the Jupiter Bell that was in there. We also got eight experience points for that entire situation. So, like thinking back on it, I guess it kind of makes sense that we wouldn't get like 20,000 XP right off the bat and demolish the entire level curve of the game. But still, I feel cheated. Whatever. Let's see if this Jupiter Bell is going to be worth it. Can act immediately after the use of Wind Arts. The bell, these were also in the Cold Steel games, I believe. The, uh, the bell quartz. Uh, uh, mm, I don't know. It does grant us seven wind immediately. And then we can put her action to right there. What we ended up doing, because as you can see, the party configuration is different. What we ended up doing was going with burn instead of petrify, because these things were actually getting killed quite harshly by burn, rather than having to chance getting the uh, petrify, which was just not working out. Throwing a uh, burn 10% chance onto Noel, and then having her use her, uh, her sleeping craft what was it her s grenade 2 was way more reliable turns out instead of several days of attempts with trying to get it with petrify and still failing we did it within three or four ish attempts once we started uh trying to burn them actually no we did it within two two ish three ish attempts actually so uh that was very nice <laughs> Now we can go back to what we were doing now that we've got the Jupiter Bell securely on. Or actually, let's see what she can use now. Just to see. Uh, maybe once we get our hands on more of these bells, we'll be better off. After a quick rest in our cower, we are back now to speak with Raymond after being so rudely interrupted by Pierre and his marital troubles. Hey, if it isn't the SSS. I thought who could it be and it was you. It seems you have undertaken the cryptid investigation, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> As expected, you have sharp ears. Hmm. It's an official request from the CGF after all. It's only natural I receive intel about it. From what I've heard, it appears there are opponents that can't be gauged with common sense. In battle, you will have to do your very best. I should also probably fix Wazi's orbit, but whatever. We've taken him out of the party for now. Thank you for your warning. Even so, you look quite busy with counterintelligence work. Well, a thing like the independence proposal was laid out, uh, laid out loud, after, or was said out loud after all. We're in a situation where one spy after the other are being sent by all the Zemirian countries to find out Crossbell's moves. We have our hands full with uh, many spies who are just simply trying to grasp those. Are they so many? In addition, there are the Red Constellation and Heiyue movements too. And it's also obvious that we can't let our guard down dealing with crimes other than theirs. The current situation is that we truly have as many cases as we want that, we want, uh, that must be coped with. Well, being the circumstances like that, it was decided to undertake it uh, at Section 2, a few of the jobs from Section 1's sphere of actions. Because of that, we were having a little business meeting. I see. You were talking about that. How to say, seems the situation is harsh due to many things. Hmm. For instance, no matter how much your hand is limited, you must do what you must. At any rate, you have to see through the duties you were given to. The cryptids case is not a problem that can be left alone at all. Yes, roger that. Mm. Alright, well, thank you for the dire warning about Crossbell. So everybody's got their spies working overtime to try to find out what- Where the heck is Raymond? Hold on. Did I not read the thing correctly? Detective, chapter 3. 
Appliance Section 2, Raymond. Where is he at? Section 2 should be headquartered here as well, right? Do we have to talk to one of these guys? Everyone, due to, your uh, due to your next mission, it appears you will do a joint with the Bracer Guild. <laughs> Who could have thought that the day would come to carry out a request shoulder to shoulder with the Guild? Well, it's not our first time doing this, but it is fairly rare all the same. Everyone, you really always impress in a good sense. Okay. Everyone, please pay attention to your cryptid investigation. Brand Seeker, having faith in your success in battle, will wait for your report. Don't have any business with Pierre. I don't know where Raymond is. Huh. Is he standing outside and I missed him? Client section two, Raymond. Uh, or he probably mentioned it when we were taking on the request. Okay, hold on, I gotta find him. So here he is. In my defense, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played this game, and it does say station. So I was like, station? People say police station all the time. But we found Raymond, but we also want to see what these Heiyue jokers are up to. As expected, they seem to plan to run away on the train. Hmm, how foolish. To think they can escape us, I mean. Hey, right, well. Ah, uh, you! Thank goodness you saw the request and came for it, right? Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Raymond. Oh, are you alone? I don't see Inspector Donovan, because we just left him back at the other station. Yes, something happened and... Can I explain the situation briefly? Please. According to the request, it seems you're once again chasing that fake brand traitor. Yes, that's right. Because of the legal reform done by the new mayor, it was decided to properly supervise the fake brand traders. Oh! We're feeling emboldened by what Dieter said. If we're about to become independent, then people can't just walk all over Crossbill anymore, and we're about to start here. With the obvious, blatant trafficking of fake brands. Even Section 2 must strengthen supervision in earnest. In this situation, that fake brand trader had entered Crossbell. Thanks to persistent lookouts, I finally succeeded in catching that person in the act. The fake brand trader. Um, she was some passenger who came via Tangram Gate, right? Oh, it's the same person. Okay, well. By the way, in the end, what kind of person was she? A hugely uncooperative old crone. That's who she was. All right, you gave us a hand guiding the passengers. Um, let's see. That person was... Yeah, sarcastic, very loud, quick-footed like a sprinter. At any rate, in a few words, one hell of a person, I guess. I see. <laughs> Seems an interesting one, someone I'd definitely like to meet. Well, in any case, weren't you amazing to be able to catch that old lady? Yes, well, everything went fine up to that point. But after that, in the end, she managed to run away at a frightening speed. Wait, didn't we apprehend her? I remember appre- Like, we figured out who the fake brand trader was at the gate, and the last we were involved in that was her really giving a lot of guff to the, uh, to the crossbow police, and then Kilika formally introduced herself. But yeah, she didn't get away. That old lady never learns. Uh, so, do I have to assume the escaped fake brand trader is inside the train station? I thought... Oh, you know what? Probably because we don't have our save data. So as far as the game is concerned, we never actually got her. We failed in that mission. That's why they're speaking this way. Oh, oh man, that sucks. Yeah, exactly. I knew you were quick-witted. It appears she plans to escape to the Empire region. <laughs> I guess she's thinking that she scattered the police completely. I spotted her at platform number two. It seems she's calmly waiting for the train. Yeah, act like you belong. You'd be surprised at how far that gets you. Until the Empire-bound train arrives, there's still time. 
It's the perfect chance to catch her. Hmm? But if everything is already arranged, then... Don't we have basically anything to do in it? About that... Since Inspector Donovan is busy, I was entrusted with this matter. However, you see, I lost the confidence that I'll be able to catch that fake brand trader alone. Um... Putting aside having confidence or not, it's a fact that you're short-handed. And this big train station, if you don't surround her properly, it's very possible she'll escape. Right? That's why I asked for your support. What I want to ask you is to act in a support role to arrest the fake brand trader with me. Also, to be on the lookout so that the fake brand trader doesn't leave the train station. You caught that fake brand trader once. That's what I thought. Will you help me out? I see. Understood. We'll definitely cooperate with you. Ooh, thank you! I'm in your debt! Then, first of all, let's decide the group which will arrest the fake brand trader with me. Who could do me the favor to come with me? Let's see... How should we divide? Lloyd automatically... Um... If we keep picking Wazi... Then his points are going to majorly eclipse Rishia's. Being a detective, I think you should accompany him, Mr. Lloyd. I am slightly worried having only Mr. Raymond. No way! That's what I'd like to say, but that way I'd be more reassured. Um, so for now, we're two detectives. It seems we'll be better having another one come as support and leave the remaining four to strengthen the train station lookout. Then, who is going to come along? Let's bring... I don't... <sighs> Under any other circumstance, I'd bring Noel or bring Randy, but uh, as you can see by my slip just there, I was leaning more towards Noel, so let's do her. Noel, come with us. Yes, sir. Everyone else, survey the station entrances and exits. Since it concerns that old lady, everything could happen. Pay the utmost attention. Oh, they're actually part of this and not just lounging around. I can't seem to spot them. They could have boarded the train already. Let's hurry. So these are some East Calvardians. Or East of Calvardians, to be more specific. Quest fake brand trader pursuit started. Yeah, because saying they're East Calvardians makes it sound like they originate from Calvert. But they're, if they're East of Calvardians, then yeah. Soon, the on-the-spot inspection of the Republic-bound train will be over. Please, we ask you to not enter inside the train for a little while longer. The Republic-bound train is going to depart soon. Wow. These train times, it must be quite the luxury, especially if they've got to inspect the train every single time. Taking the train is already time-consuming enough. Well then, I wonder where the fake brand trader is. When she popped in before, I'm sure she was around there. Could she be that one? Yeah, that looks like her. <laughs> You're someone in the same business, huh? So, how was business over in Crossbell? <laughs> well, I'm afraid to say that... I had a little interference due to business rivalry. Mm, that's unfortunate. Honestly, fellows like them are a disgrace to the traitors. No, I think that it was also some lack of power on my part. That is why this time I'm having a change of attitude, trying to go to the Empire region. <laughs> That's an admirable business temper you have. Hmm. Even having met like this could be some kind of fate. If you wish, I could introduce you to some good connections in the Empire region. Oh my, really? <laughs> Thank you then. I think I'll take you up on your offer. It won't go that way. Huh? Yeah. You guys got some explaining to do. Crossbow Police, Special Support Section. Madam, long time no see. You are... Is this person the fake brand trader I heard about? It seems that you thought to have completely scattered us, huh? <laughs> this time, you won't get away. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Fake brand? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, 
based on a law amended article of the autonomous state. We are taking you to the police for questioning about illegal trades. We have finished the, we have finished to siege the station. You don't have a place to escape anymore. What about thinking to not escape more than this? She's about to make another run for it. <laughs> She's like, don't joke around. <laughs> don't joke, you damn shitty brats! Nah? Huh? Nah? Huh? What? Driving me to a corner where I can't escape in such a place? Not once, but two times too! How dare you to screw with me! You keep doing nothing but sly things! That's why I hate the police! Is she gonna jump onto the tracks and put her life at risk for her fake brands? Well, sly, you say? Wasn't taking refuge into the station your own mistake? Silence! Hmm, whatever. I don't care if I am sieged or whatever. Yep. If you want to catch me, then try! No matter how often I see that, she's got quite the presence. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, it's not the time to space out! Right. Yeah, let's chase after her. Exit and entrances are all under watch. We just need to catch her. Alright. Yeah, he's blindsided. Speechless. Never a dull moment in Crossbell. Those damn shitty brats. If they're ambushing me in the station premises, I must find out a different route. We are sorry to have made you wait. The Republic bound train is going to depart soon. Since it is dangerous, please refrain to rush to get into the train. This is it? Is she going to jump onto the train, rush into the train, and put on a disguise? That's... Okay, so she made it onto the... Nope, she did it. She jumped onto the train. Ah! Impossible! What a way to... At the very end! Uh, what am I gonna say to Inspector Donovan? It's time to put our lives on the line to catch this one old lady. Let's go, Noel. Yes, sir. Huh? Don't tell me that you're about to see how the SSS does things. Huh? Are you kidding me? Are you going to give chase? The only way we can arrest her is to chase after her. It can't be helped. We're going on ahead. What to do? I can't leave it to the support section only. Uh... <sighs> well... And on we go. Yeah, this is really dangerous. Seems like this is going even further above and beyond than is strictly necessary. Mr. Raymond, are you okay? It would have been alright if you left everything to us. No. Basically, this is a case I was given by the inspector, you see. I couldn't let you guys have all the fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, this ominous music that's playing. It might be both. She might have jumped onto the train and then also subsequently slipped inside and put on a disguise. By the way, where did the fake brand trader go? Yeah. Yeah, she could get in through that hatch. She probably used this from the roof of some car and escaped inside. We should be able to corner her if we clear the cars one by one, starting from the rear. Let's go, Mr. Raymond. Yeah, of course. We'll catch her for sure. Is it going to give us the opportunity to save? Looks like that's in it. Hey, that old woman. She came in from the roof, right? Yes. Who in the world is she? Hmm. Shut up! It's not a show! Ugh! Scary. There she is! I'm surprised. Okay. No attempt to at camouflage or anything. What? What persistent guys! You don't know when to quit! I feel like we should be saying that to you. 
Anyway, escaping is impossible. Please surrender calmly. Right. That's right. Give up! Huh. And I was thinking uh, what you were going to say. Listen, remember this. Until this continent exists, I can get away wherever and whenever I want. Does she mean until this continent ceases to exist? Damn it. She makes no sense. In any case, let's chase her, everyone. Wait! The train has started to move. It seems that we can finally take a breather. Okay, are these are uh, are these her co-conspirators, her cohorts? Yeah. With this, it's goodbye to Crossbell. I feel bad towards our comrades who were caught by Heiyue, but caught by Heiyue. So this is. This is what those uh, Heiyue members were talking about. These guys. What? It just means that we lacked in preparations. One day we'll punish those guys for sure. Uh, Heiyue's probably going to be busted up by, I don't know, the, the Rocksmith Agency before these guys ever get a chance to exact their revenge. Oh, it seems you're having a funny conversation, huh? Uh, <laughs> Heiyue always knows. Uh, uh, you're... Heiyue? Crap, you put a tail on us? Master Sal would never let you go, you know? Anti-Eastern Immigration League, gentlemen. You'll have to come with us. Oh, they're those guys. As soon as we reach Altair City, we'll transfer to a crossbell-bound train. We're finished. Oh, their names changed to Republican Terrorist. Move aside, you brats! Huh? Ow! Ugh. Ugh. Ow, ow, ow! Damn blockheads, didn't I tell you to move? I can't stay still in such a place! So... I guess there were more people than the ones we saw get apprehended by anyway. Um... Who's this granny? Hmm? Could it be that you were chased by these guys? Yeah, honestly, you've helped us. You're our savior. Hmm, I don't get it, but... To oppose those guys, I need as many comrades as possible. Okay. This has uh, taken quite a few more left turns than I thought it would. You guys, if you feel indebted even just a little, then come with me. If it goes well, you could be able to get away too! Huh? Really? Come on, don't dawdle! Alright! Okay. Interesting. This is spiraling quite out of control. Wait! These must not be Heiyue's best and brightest. Duh. What the heck happened? <laughs> I don't know either, dude. I do not know either. Okay, so they went, uh, they went back up. <sighs> it seems she's climbed on the roof again. By the way, it looked like she had someone following her. Did she have some comrades in hiding? But that's impossible. All of her underlings should have been arrested a long time ago. I don't get it well, but let's chase after them. You're right. Fine, let's resume the pursuit. So far, it just seems like one extended chase scene. Oh! So it's gonna be a fight then. What the? They threw their terrorist garb on? The Republican terrorists that targeted the trade conference. You guys look like Crossbell police. I don't know what's going on, but you're not gonna arrest us. You're dead meat if you chase us any further. That equipment, it seems they really are them. But why would they be teaming up with the fake brand trader? Because they really don't want to get caught by Heiyue. Anyway, we can't give in to these kinds of threats. We're taking you down. All of you. Uh, wait! And we're going to have to defend Raymond. Okay, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Republican terrorist, level 67. Attack the trade conference. 
sympathizes with a fake brand trader for some reason. And then another Republican terrorist. Attack the trade conference, sympathizes for whatever reason. Yep. It's impossible to understand the motives of a Republican terrorist. As is the norm when it comes to... Oh, he can actually fight! Well, that's actually pretty nice. Luckily, these guys are complete crap pushovers. Uh, okay, we might want to have her actually heal up a little bit. Alright. Uh, and if we heal her or heal again... Nope. Is it going to be this guy? Yep, it's been the guy we've been attacking. Whoa, wait. This battle theme, it sounds different. Does she have a delay? Yes. Go ahead and get you out of here. Nope. Yep. That worked out perfectly. No stun. He's not helping again. Alright, Lloyd. How about one? Burning hard. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, let's beat this guy down. Whoa. I guess she took a massive... And this guy can't hit anybody to save his friggin' life. Oh, my adios. He'll be fine, even though after he takes this double turn, he's gonna faint. But it's fine, we should be good. And we got the one. And then one more. Unless... Are we burning hard a second time? Yeah. So we can just keep doing that as long as we have the CP to pay for it. Kind of busted, but whatever. Nope. Lloyd said it's about that time for you to get gone. 1522. Uh. Yeah, see, we burning hard again. Be able to get this guy with a nice little crit. Dang. I was honestly expecting closer to 3k damage off that, but it's all good. Nice. Good. And she's still got those, uh, she's got the sniper barrel on. I think I took the long barrel off to give her a Misty Stole, which, uh, Lloyd is also still wearing, actually. Probably should take that off him. Uh, sh Lloyd, well, we'll be fine with him. Yeah. That's fine. Immediately stand back up for us. Not worried about that whatsoever. Oh, and a nice strength down, too. That sword breaker putting in work. And it blinded him. Hang on. There you go. So there's one more. What's with these guys? <sighs> Looks like aside from Blondie there, we can't make light of the other two. We bought some time. Pull back for now. Right. Okay. That was scary. Yeah, real combat is quite the adventure. <sighs> they ran away again. However, they have no more places to run to. Let's brace ourselves. All right. We're going to save over... Uh, let's save over this one. And we can have Noel here. And I guess should be fine. Yeah, this is friggin' wild. Alright, fight number two. 
Wait! Persistent to the bitter end, I'll give you that. All these kids are an unforeseen windfall. Oh, that's her. There's no place to run this time. It's impossible to run any further than you already have. Please give up and surrender. The terrorists with you too, of course. That's right, surrender! Ugh. Right. So this is all we can do, huh? Hmm. My, my. Youngsters nowadays lacking guts, huh? Is she gonna turn out to be a Taito master or something? What do you mean? You're not planning to escape again, are you? She's gonna jump from the moving train and take her chances in the the wilds between Crossbell and the Republic. Glad. <laughs> You're still saying that optimistic bullshit, huh? Once this train gets to Altair City, you're mine! What does she mean by that? The Republic's my home turf, see? Once the train stops, I'm out of here. Do we have a time limit we gotta beat her in? Out of here. You're still planning on running this late in the game? Ha! <laughs> Fine then, listen up! As long as this continent exists, everything can be my escape route! As long as you guys are on my heels, you have no hope of catching me! You understand now, fools? Oh, we'll follow you! Wow. Huh. They must be crazy. They're really planning on running until the bitter end. I'm afraid this old lady will really go through with it, but... Us too. We can't let them run away. This is an important duty entrusted to me by the Inspector. Mr. Raymond, that's right. If that's the case, we have no choice but to capture them here. Let's go, everyone. We'll disable them. How many times are you going to make me say it? If you guys can really catch me, just go ahead and try. Come on, you guys. Get them! Yeah. This isn't going to be an issue at all. First, we're going to throw out the inspiration. Then, we're going to drop the... Oh! They're too far away for the Brave Hearts? That's interesting. So I guess instead... We'll drop the S grenade. I doubt they'll resist both of these. Yep. Nighty night. Mm. That wasn't perfect, but... Yeah, see? Sleep? Friggin' nice. She probably has some sort of support craft that she can throw out. Okay, Republican terrorist, same thing there. Fake brand trader, level 22! Oh my, okay. Republican black marketeer. This woman is strong. Uh, this old woman is stronger than she looks. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna give her the opportunity to show that off now, will we? Immediately got got. I actually like how that works out. Like, she's not a fighter, she's a runner. Like, we're all trained combatants. There's no way she'd be able to stand up to us. Not physically, anyways. Crafts, brave hearts. Now we got you. It's all three of them, but yeah, we'll still be fine. I probably should have had Lloyd. Yeah. Had him double up on our strength up. This dude can't hit anything to save his friggin' life. At least we got a team rush coming up. Oh, crap. We throw out another Brave Hearts, we're not going to be able to make use of that Team Rush. But if we die, we're not going to be able to make use of that Team Rush either, so... Uh... We did about 5k last time. Let's go for it. See how, see how lucky we can get here. Okay. 
We should defeat two of them, I believe. Nope, didn't even get one. Uh-oh. We're about to have to redo this fight. Oh, man. That was dumb. Okay. Uh, let's do another S grenade. I don't like... Okay, cool. We're still not going to find out what she can do. This time, we've got them on the run, though. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll just let that crit pass. That's whatever. She will be taken out by that burn. Alright. Now we got that bit of additional uh, strength on her. Um, let's... Because uh, these two are probably going to be... I guess we can't get them with the chrono down. I also don't want to wake them all up before it's strictly necessary. So let's just take out the grandma. You're done. Yeah, let's have him be a little lower. Okay, we do have Chrono Drive, but we can't actually get us both with it. I'm just trying to set up so that we don't get it into a situation. Oh my... Where this guy is costing us the fight! Friggin' Raymond. Making life worse 100% of the time. Alright, so him will definitely be able to get Bravehearts. It's about that time. And then she'll also be able to throw her S-Craft right back out after this. No crit, but she is still double strength up, so... Go ahead and eat this right up. Nice. Okay, we're not worried about that. <sighs> he could not be any more useless. Uh, yeah, let's just have her do that. Lloyd, let's see. Okay, wasn't enough. This is gonna be enough, though. And if it's not, then we'll just have Lloyd finish him off. But this time, Raymond didn't cost us the fight, so that's nice. She probably would have said something that would have given them, like, maxed up strength, maxed up defense, maxed up speed, some kind of cheer craft. Oh. Interesting. These guys are more resilient than you would think. Still not enough, though. Raymond, you friggin' suck. Luckily, we don't. How do you like them apples? Huh. Somehow we did it. We? You mean you guys did it, because Raymond, you are friggin' useless. Ugh. Ow, ow, ow. Damn it. Um, maybe attacking the old lady too was a little too much? Oh, I got the, dis I am getting the distinct impression we just lost out on bonus BP by roughing the lady up. Guys, you won't get away with this! <sighs> How tenacious! Isn't she tougher than the terrorists? Yeah, seriously. Alright then, Mr. Raymond, what should we do with them? Hmm, that's right. We'll arrive in Alta Your City soon. I guess contacting the Republican Army and handing them over would be good. Well, they all look to be Republicans, so I think that's best. All right, let's ask the conductor to con uh, contact them for us. Are they going to be published, or uh, published, punished at all by Calvert? Probably not. 
Officers of the Crosswell Police, thank you for your hard work. We'll take them into custody and bring them in. Thank you very much. Thank you, and please, come now, walk briskly. You all, I'll pay you back for this, so look forward to it! Come on, no private talks. Shut up, you damn piece of shit of a soldier! You must treat ladies with more courtesy! Piece of shit? Enough, take her away. She's uh, quite the handful. What can I say? I really don't want to meet her again. I agree. We intend to deal with the matter properly so that such a thing doesn't happen again. At any rate, thank you. You too, be careful when going back. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Alright, well. That's one issue solved. <sighs> in the end, it turned out like this. At least I would have liked to arrest her with our hands in a way or another. You're right. It's a bit regrettable. However, it ended all right since she didn't escape. Right, right. You really helped me too a lot. Man, thank goodness, really. With this, it seems I can do a nice report to Inspector Donovan. <laughs> That's also true. Well then, shall we go back to Crossbell City? You're right, it seems we don't have time to overstay too much. Um, but since we've come all the way to the Republic, with the occasion, I'd like to go sightsee somewhere. Uh, okay. Please leave it for another time. Oh, Kevin. No, hey UA members. This kind of conclusion was beyond our expectations. Well, we achieved the minimum goal of not letting them get, uh... Not letting the remnants get away. For now, let's return to report to Master Sal. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well. All's well that ends well, as they say. Afterwards, Lloyd and the others waited for the crossbell-bound train. After rebuking Raymond, reluctant to part from the gift shop, they left the Republic behind. Alright, all's well. That ends well. That was uh, quite the adventure, though. Quite the adventure. Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> huh. Lloyd, when I heard you went to the Republic, even I was surprised. Goodness gracious, to think things turned out like that. <laughs> Sorry we didn't even contact you. Well, at any rate, the fake brand trainer was caught and everything was fine. <laughs> That's right. Well, let's say it turned out fine. Well then, I have to make a report at Crime Investigations Section 2. So I'll be excusing myself here. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. No, I was helped by you all until the end. I think that if I had been alone, I would have never been able to arrest that old lady. Oh yeah, you'd have lost her after she jumped onto the train. Thank you very much for today. No, likewise. If something happens again, please contact the support section. Yeah, I'll be counting on you. Alright. Quest Fake Brand Trader Pursuit completed. So first things first, we'll actually turn these in. And before we can start knocking out the cryptids, we're actually going to have to travel to the outskirts, to the the towns on the outs. Report. Alright, yeah, no bonus on that. No bonus on that. No bonus on that. No bonus on that. Got a nice bonus on that, and ingenuity. Right, yeah, there's nothing to report. Let's uh, actually take this time to go into our ordinance. Ingenuity. What does that do again? Wasn't it? 
Was that a fire quartz last game? When moving in the field, EP recovers little by little. Hmm. Uh, I guess she could. If we give her ingenuity, well, we can't give her ingenuity instead. Let's, uh, hold on. Let's do some upgrades. Well, I guess we have to just run over there because we're already in Central Square. But we did, um, when we got the ju uh, our hands on the Jupiter Bell, we did actually get quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of Sepith. So that wasn't too bad. All right, we got all those. We already own all these. Paint e-coloring. Uh, we're not going to paint Mishy on our car. Yeah. I think that might be the... Unless she gets some better stuff in stock. Probably going to be it for that. Or slot, rather. Yeah, Tio could use some more. Or that's basically all we're going to be able to do. Yeah. We uh, lack the amount of Earth Sepith we're going to need. But that's whatever. Orbment. Quartz. Alright, so now we can throw... give her her action too bad. Hmm. Invigorate would be better. The slot level's too low. She can learn a Thales. We don't have any higher quality anything else to give her. Hmm. Okay, yeah, an EP cut two. That's whatever. And an EP two. She's nice and outfitted. Now let's fix his thing back up. We don't need Petrify anymore. Um, how's about. Let's give him an HP, yeah. Let's give him an HP 2. Do we have a hit 2? No, we have an EP cut 1. Alright. I think everybody else is still good to go. That move 1 actually is a little too instrumental on Lloyd to really be thinking about taking away. Now, unless we can make some good, unless we can make some good water ports, probably gonna leave things, yeah, as they are. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's fine. But now, where should we go first? Let's, uh, I guess we'll hit up, whatchamacallit, it's not Mains, it's, uh, that other place whose name escapes me, yes. Armorica. Can I gonna head over to Armorica Village Sa and eat the stuff they've got there. There's only one real oh, restaurant that? here, so it shouldn't be too difficult for somebody to find this as their favorite. We're only waiting on three other members, I believe. Hey, it's the, uh, it's the support section. Welcome to Ash Tree. Wanna eat something today? Or a rest? Um, we came here for work today. Explain that you came to collect data for the gourmet recommendations. Ah, so it's about that. 
I heard about it from the Crossbell News Service. All right then, allow me to treat you to my uh, allow me to treat you to my chef's omelet rice. <laughs> if you please, master. And then we're gonna turn on to really like this. Lloyd and the others ate the chef's omelet rice. Hmm, this omelet rice sure is delicious. Yes, I think it is superb. The chicken, rice, and ketchup flavors wrapped in fluffy egg is somehow simple and good. Ketchup on an egg? Like, I've seen it before in anime, but... Oh my god. Any, uh... Any om rice I ever eat will have to be with ketchup on the side. And then completely ignored. And I think Armorica Village is in a nice location, surrounded by Mother Nature. I don't think anyone should leave Armorica without having this first. <laughs> I'm embarrassed you'd say that much about it. <laughs> it looks like you're partial to this omelet rice, Mr. Lloyd. I think we can leave writing the guide article to you, so this is what Lloyd likes. Well, it's also got the master's personality. We could recommend it wholeheartedly. We also ate this other times before. Yeah, I'll be responsible for writing this one. <laughs> By all means, please make an article that will drive business for us. Alright. Now, is there even anything to eat in mind? The honey better not turn out to be one of the things we need to recommend. Mines. And I guess we should also hit up St. Ursula, even though that's kind of weird. And then the gates, too. Okay, there's Eagle. So she does count. Oh, hello. Welcome to Dare's Eagle Inn. Excuse us, we're from the special support section. Explain that you came to collect the data. Ah, so it's you guys. I heard about you from Crossbell News. Then, how about I make you guys this mining town specialty? Stamina steak. Sounds like it will pack a punch in our stomachs. Yeah, you guys have to go around and eat at various places, don't you? In that case, I'll bring them to you bite size. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I'd have asked for a full-size one. F that. Oh, we don't even sit down? Lloyd and friends ate the stamina steak. Man, even though it's bite-size, it's quite filling as a meal. As expected, a steak should be like this. Yes, you can indeed feel power welling up inside you. Uh-huh. To a miner, stamina is life after all. Pair this with a beer, and you'll be ready to work like a workhorse. Being a miner sounds like hard work. <laughs> Mr. Gantz and the others seem to enjoy it, though. <laughs> They're the strong men of a mining town, after all. Everyone, please come here whenever you want to eat your fill. Yeah, we'll do just that. Okay, so no one was uber partial to that, then. We've still got the Gates and St. Ursula. Unless I'm missing anything. No. Well, that should be it. Alright, next up. St. Ursula Medical College. Someone is probably going to end up loving the, uh, the hospital food. That's going to be wild, but... Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Once we can actually run up and talk to her. My, welcome. Came to eat something? Excuse us, we're from the special support section. Explaining that you came to collect the data. Ah, the gourmet guide thing, right? I've heard from a CNS person. Still, that's a problem. Is something the matter? My recommended dish needs to boil for quite some time. I just ran out of it. Oh, of course, she's gonna make us work for it, so this is probably gonna be someone's recommended dish then. I'm sorry, but now I'm not prepared to treat you to that. Hmm, can't be helped then. How much will it take until it is ready? Oh, this is probably why it's long. We have to come back tomorrow or something. Let's see, I just began preparing it last night. It'll take two days to be ready, so the day after tomorrow. It boils even for three days? So this is gonna be... Who, who's left? Is it Ellie and Wazzy? This is probably gonna be Ellie or Wazzy's favorite then. <laughs> I'm sure the taste will be rich. I'll look forward to its completion. 
Yeah, it'll be tasty for sure. Don't forget to come when it's ready. Okay. So this is definitely going to be one of them then. Which just leaves one or the other. So it's going to be either a Tangram or Belgard. And it's either going to be Ellie's or what. So we'll start at Belgard. Oh, thank Adios for the special support section, Super Silver Strider. This thing is such a lifesaver. Alright. Let's go ahead and get ourselves all dined up. My, Randy and everyone from the support section, I guess? Hi, Stella. Um, today we came for work. Ah, now that you mention it, I heard about that, I think. Alright then, I'll prepare the satiating hot pot I served to the Belgard Gate CGF members. Uh, this unit has something like this? Then, please. Yes, I'll prepare a portion for everyone. Lloyd and the others ate the satiating hot pot. Yes, my body is warmed up. Yeah, the quantity of meat is amazing, and there are a lot of edible wild plants too. It's highly nourishing. Well, the CGF practice is hard, so if they didn't get strength from something like this, they wouldn't last. <laughs> Indeed. We often do hot pot parties and they really turn into meat contests. At the time Randy was here, he was snatching away from the small servings others took and he was doing a mess. What do you think you are doing, Mr. Randy? <laughs> Survival of the fittest, you know? Alright. So we're gonna get someone's favorite at Tangram Gate. And if we don't, then that just means there's one place that we've missed out. Or there's one place I'm not thinking of that we need to go to. Uh... Was there... A... There was no food service at Crossbell Police Academy. And I think someone also recommended going to the boat shed. Let's, uh... Hit this place up really quickly. So is there gonna be someone living here, or what? Nope, still empty. Alright. Oh, there is someone here! Hmm. Um, at any rate, that's a creepy monster. If something like that were to come here, we'd be helpless. Oh no, this is the, uh, cryptids! Yes, if that happens, we must take refuge right away. However, for the time being, we'll wait for the CGF to come. Uh-oh. Oh, if it isn't member Lloyd. Well, we gotta do this anyway, I guess. But not before we hit up Tangroom. Long time no see, Branch Manager Keldon. We heard that a mysterious large-scale monster, a cryptid, has appeared here. A cryptid. Mm, an expression that fits it perfectly. Yes, actually, that cryptid or whatever appeared suddenly yesterday evening deep inside the swamp. We contacted the CGF, however. Could it be that your special support section has come to deal with it, Lloyd? Yes, we took the request from the CGF. Could you please tell us the situation in detail? Yes, like I just told you, the first time we noticed it was yesterday evening. Really, like a bolt out of the blue, all of a sudden we heard something like a bizarre animal cry. A suspicious shadow flickered in the deep part of the marsh that's always been sealed. We all got close cautiously. Then, we spotted that mysterious cryptid or whatever. Then, we hastily made a report to the CGF. We thought to run away, but there's no sign the cryptid is moving away from there. For now, we may turn since yesterday to watch over it and monitor the situation. Thank you for your hard work. While you were on watch, has anything peculiar happened? No, nothing of the sort has. Although we surrounded it at a distance, we felt like he had a hostile, uh... Had a hostile will, but... How to say this? We felt that it's not that it doesn't move, it can't. We don't know the full details, but... Yeah, the ones in the uh, in Cold Steel 2 never moved either. I see. It appeared all of a sudden, and furthermore, it can't leave that place. Well, it clearly seems related to that spatial distortion stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it. Then, Branch Manager Keldon, I'd like to immediately go further inside. Yes, you're going to exterminate it, right? I'll unlock it now. 
Too bad we got to immediately double back. All right, now it's fine. We'll leave the rest to you. Yes, understood. All right. And back we go. I guess this is where their, their new headquarters is at. If we could read that, it'd probably say something. I mean, of course it would say something, but it would say something about it being them specifically. Uh, please let this be the fifth out of the sixth one we need, because I can't think of anywhere else. We got... Okay, so this place also has a way down. Authorized personnel only. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. Hi, Sergeant Major Noel. Are you together with everyone from the SSS? Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Tomas. Um, today we came for work. Ah, indeed. I think I was asked that by the news service. The Rich Sea Hot Pot Tangro Specialty is just ready. You can eat it with everyone. Oh, so it's your mess hall the main dish is a sea hot pot. <laughs> Thank you. We'd love to try it. The, uh, then, please wait. I'll make the portions now. Alright, we ate the rich sea hot pot. The taste is quite good. Yeah, it seems the original taste of the fish comes out nicely. <laughs> I know, right? Because the hot pot is easy and tasty, we do it often at Tangram Gate. It, uh, it's really lively and fun when everyone is merrily around the hot pot. Now that I think about it, I didn't pick in a hot pot like this at all with the Testaments guys. So this is going to be Wazi's favorite, so it's Ellie's that's at the hospital. <laughs> if I have the chance, I think I'll come here with the others too. Oh, somehow you're saying an unusual thing. <laughs> I believe he'd like this dish a lot. Then it could be nice to leave this presentation to Mr. Wazi. Oh boy, it's a bother, but I think I'll accept. Alright, so that's it. Five out of six. Now, all that's left is for us to go ahead and make our move. Hoping, like, of course, since we have to defeat them to, to move forward, they're not going to be anywhere near as difficult as the ones in, Cro uh, in Cold Steel 2, which were more like bonus encounters, but... We'll see. We will see. Alright, so cryptid number... Oh, hold on. Let's rest really quickly. Use Orbal Car. Or rather, rest in Orbal Car is what I meant to pick. Because we get a 100% heal when we do. Now we're ready. See what this first cryptid is looking like. No enemies so far, so... I... Okay, yep. <gasps> looks pretty mean. Toki, <laughs> Okay. And so this, in this, uh, in their case, the spatial distortion is beneath them, rather than simply in the same area, like it was in Cold Steel 2. So... We kill the crap out of this thing. Alright. Uh, hold on. Let's uh, actually fix our equipment really quickly. Team Rush Chance up. Uh, we'll give the speed up to her. Speed plus 5, prevent delay. And then up her decks. Oh yeah, and tactics too. Uh, let's move Randy a little closer. All right, so that works. Save once more. Let's do this. 
Oh, and it's summoning help. Those look to be its tendrils. Oh. And we got the, uh, the battle theme. Alright, so you... Confuse lower level enemies. Does that mean minus level equals 100%? Oh, lower level. Okay, I'm like, what's that minus mean? But it means lower level equals 100% confuse. Uh, probably not a good idea. Instead. Let's have her open up with... None of these are gonna work. Uh, then you will strike Bell like normal. And you... Okay, we're gonna have him law forte. Alright, Lloyd, what are they looking like? Plant's arm, level 66. Hydra plant tentacle. Due to its ferocious personality, it leaps at prey once it finds it. And, uh, Teal should be level 67, so we got a 100% chance to confuse if they weren't immune to that. Oh, that's not the actual thing. Hydra plant. Plant cryptid that distorted space and appeared. The tentacles, possessing a will of their own, attack prey independently. Okay. And they can't be status at all. So it's just gonna be a slugfest then. Mm. Let's... Can't get him with a burning rage. Star Blast is too far down. Um, I think we'll just have Lloyd. Well, let's have him run up and attack. Yes! That's not too bad. We have yet to see the kind of shenanigans they'll pull, though. Okay. And he got blinded. We should have had him use Arts Reflect. But it looks like blind is gonna be their main thing. She has... Arts attack and arts defense up. So everybody except Lloyd will take less damage from this. Yes. Um. We're going to have to have him. Well, I guess he can chrono drive to support them. Because he's about to have a bad time. Alright. Void's not going to make it through this next turn. I'm not even going to kid myself about that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let this Hydra plant have it. How much damage do we got? Okay, a very respectable amount. Reincarnation.
You can't tell me that wasn't the lost art. That is a problem. Okay, we may have to buy some revival items or something. Because that was a little too much. We can drop a Death Scorpion, but we're probably going to be screwed regardless. Reincarnation, huh? I wonder if we're able to impede that. Because if we if we are, we basically have to just keep it from doing that at any cost. Like, we need to throw an anti-blind item. Yeah. If we throw an anti-blind item onto Lloyd, that would be best. Okay. Go ahead and try to heal him back up. And those things can move. Acid Rain. Okay, it just dropped her defense, so that's fine. Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat another. Well, let's eat one of these three day stews. Go ahead and keep you nice and strong. There he goes. Yeah, she was like, it's not even worth trying to keep you jokers alive. Alright. Uh. A bit ooh, of a predicament. Yeah, I think I might have to uh, prep for this. We're about to lose, lose, lose. Her orbital staff does a decent amount of damage, actually. Okay. Yeah, it is quite the pinchy death. All right. Uh, give me, give me Uno Memento, folks. Round three. Let's go. Uh, this time we did not get nearly as lucky, it seems. With the turn order, but oh well. Yep, already starting with the BS. Lloyd's not going to be able to up their strength. Yeah. We're just going to have these two move up, do their thing. Well, you know what? Having them be separated might mean that... Oh, you... okay, well... Hoping she will. Okay, she will. I don't think she'll be able to move, actually. Yes. Uh, we're gonna have to see how Zero Field is looking. Because these things. Like, we're actually doing more damage than I thought we would be. Yeah. we move, our turn's gonna come too late. You know what? Crafts, Strike Bell. If we do that, Lloyd's turn moves ahead of Tio's. Let's just, uh... I think it... I think... It works for the entire field. Zero field, anyways. And if I'm wrong, let's move him back a little bit. Okay, it is the entirety of the field. Well, Lloyd's not going to get healed, but that's whatever. Right. Nope. Not this time. Unless it hits through it, but uh 
That was just that one dude's. Uh, dude who was like, I'm 100% mixed. Forget his name. But I remember being very surprised that his attack was able to hit through our shield. These guys shouldn't have anything that BS though. At least, let's hope they don't. Yep, we're good. Uh, that's yes. not what we wanted to see for Lloyd, but he'll be fine. Inspire everybody to do as much damage as possible. A free additional move. Yeah, let's get you right back up there. And then you will strike Bell a second time. Just go ahead and cheat like crazy to get as many turns as we want. Uh, I don't think we've got any CP restoration, do we? Nope. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's throw Lloyd. Let's do this. So we'll be able to survive a hit, and she will be able to throw out her Silver Thorns. Alright, Randy, that's got your name written all over it. Even though he's only got the single strength up going for him. Now the only issue is the fact that we're only going to be able to do that the one time. Unless she can get... Oh no. If it comes to it, we might actually have to put the, the CP um, increasing items. Okay, nope. Acid Rain. Throw those onto her. Missed. Nice. Lloyd is not taking any prisoners. So how much are we going to get from this? Is it going to be 15 or something stupid? 30. Okay. We're just going to have to keep doing that. No real way around it, but at least now we are firmly in control of this fight. That next crit that comes up should spell doom for this thing. Alright. as well. Oh no! That's not what I meant to... Uh, well. That HP up for it, we're going to have to steal that with Ellie. Or is that? We got it. Nice. And of course, the tentacles are still working. Alright, well. That's less obnoxious, though. Jeez, that agility buff is no joke. Lloyd is un friggin' touchable. Okay, the Ekaterina is not... not super impressive on the damage front. That's okay, though. Alright, there are silver thorns. Uh, I guess we should just all work on this single one. Nope. He didn't dodge that, though, which kinda sucks, but... Oh well. Yes. All right, Lloyd. Um. Well, we don't have anything to actually up our. That's the wrong one. But as soon as Lloyd is able to inspire everybody to do more damage, we'll be throwing that craft out. Until then, though. Crit. Ah. Uh. Oh well. Randy's not having the best time. Yes. Let's have Lloyd. Yeah, Raging Spin, actually. You. Yeah, one energy circle coming right up. That's what they needed more than anything, honestly. Cry. 
Just in time to make use of that crit. We were able to bring it back strategy-wise. Uh, strategy so it all worked out in the end. And now all you really have to do is just basic as that madness the other one to death. Okay, come on, fingers crossed this does a massive amount of damage. Yep. Good stuff. 66% of the way done with our very first Azure Cryptid. Another dark breath. But I think I actually gave it to everybody. Nope, I did not give it to everybody. She's doing massive amounts of damage. And this should be game, set, match. Hopefully this gives us an actual, yep, a reasonable amount of XP. Well, Smash. Deadly Heaven 2, thank Adios. And we got an MP2 as well. Took us three tries. Did it? I wasn't paying attention. It looked like it vanished how they normally do. Hmm. Gonna have to pay close attention for the uh, second one. So a cryptic could, uh, could potentially reappear here then. Quite, or defeated the East Crossbow Highway cryptid. As your flowers are blooming. Hmm. What pretty flowers they are. It seems they're faintly glowing though. Yup, those things. Azure flowers might be get an Azure tree. Huh? Huh? But, uh, yeah. Actually, we're gonna take on the other cryptid, but that's gonna be next time. So definitely join me then for more The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Bye for now, guys.